President Ekufuadu has called on leaders to make a conscious effort to end all forms of state-sponsored attacks on journalists in performance of their duties. Speaking at the UNESCO Guillermo Cano Prize Ceremony and Gala Dinner of the World Pre Freedom Press Day 2018 in Accra, President Ekufuadu condemned all forms of attacks on journalists in their line of duty. Egyptian journalist Mahmoud Zaid, also known as Shokan, who is in jail for taking photos during a demonstration in Cairo, was honored for his contribution to the defense of press freedom and promotion of freedom of speech. Journalists across the globe attended the UNESCO Guillermo Cano Prize Ceremony and Gala Dinner for the World Press Freedom Day 2018. The event was also in recognition of Egyptian journalist Mahmoud Zaid, also known as Shokan, a photojournalist, has been in jail since 14th August 2013 when he was arrested while covering a demonstration at Rabah al Adawiya Square in Cairo. In early 2017, the prosecutor in his case reportedly called for the death penalty for Shokan. The UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detentions has classified his arrest and detention as arbitrary and contrary to the rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The laureate of the UNESCO Guillermo Cano Prize received $25,000. The prize was funded by the Guillermo Cano Isaza Foundation, Colombia, the Helsinki Sandomat Foundation, Finland, and the Namibia Media Trust. On the Egyptian photojournalist Mahmoud Abu Zaid, who has been in jail in Egypt for nearly five years, President Akufado said the world has not forgotten about him and called on all to help fight for his release. It is still disheartening to note that though proven to be a catalyst in sparing the advancement of societies in the 21st century, we still have many countries that frown on or even criminalize free speech. The fact that this year's award winner, Mohammed Abu Zaid, also known as Shokan, is in jail for, as it were, taking photos, is a signal to us that our generation still has much ground to cover. I use this opportunity to call on all governments the world over to put an end to state-sponsored acts that seek to restrict the practice of journalism. The president observed that any form of violence against journalists on the African continent or any part of the world should not be entertained. The free press has the potential to quicken the development of societies. Indeed, a democracy has no place for a media that does not keep a government on its toes. This year, 2018, UNESCO is leading the 25th celebration of World Press Freedom Day, the main event jointly organized by UNESCO and the government of Ghana is taking place in Accra for the first time.